What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to The Bench. We are here with a brand new episode and a new season here on Military Mondays. We are going to be working with a 148 scale PV-1 Ventura. This is the Ravel kit that I picked up a couple weeks ago, and I wanted to go ahead and show you guys what's in the box. So let's go ahead and open her up to see what we have. Now, I have been really excited to work on this model. I've kind of been in that twin engine mood. I built the Whitley, which was twin engine. I really had a good time building that. I've seen a lot of guys on YouTube building twin engine aircraft, and I'm just kind of interested in seeing what I can do with a twin engine, 148 scale. So this fits the bill beautifully. And also the Ventura looks like a really cool airplane. So I like it. Let's go ahead and check out the bags. We have four poly bags, nothing too fancy here. So these are the breakdowns right here. We also have a beautiful sheet of decals which I really, really appreciate. Now, I don't know much about the decal markings that I'm gonna be using. I gotta do a little bit of research, but I don't like the fact that the octopus tentacles and the insignia are all included as one decal. I would have preferred the insignia to be separate, just in case we wanna go ahead and do something different with that octopus. We're gonna work on that though. That's not 100% certain that we're gonna use that decal, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We've got our paint call outs, we've got our parts and pieces break down here. Always nice to know what you're doing and what these things are called. Then we get into the actual assembly. Now we start off here with the cockpit as we typically do. So we have the pilot seat, we have the co-pilot seat, our consoles, our flight control sticks. The bulkhead here I've actually heard is incorrect, but that's cool, we'll deal with that a little bit later. Flipping over the page, we have our bomb bay. We have our inside of our cockpit. We have our fuselage assembly right here. Nothing too fancy. I think it's gonna be a pretty decent kit to build. Looks to be a clear part for the front nose cone. We have the guns protruding through. We have the engine cells right here. Looks like those don't have too many parts and pieces to it, which is a firewall with a right and a left side. We have our bomb bay with all of our little clasps and hooks. We have some work cut out for us in the bomb bay area. We have our bombs, of course, here, and our drop tanks. We have our, all of our actuators here for the bomb bays and for the doors themselves. Looks pretty cool. I like the look of it, I really do. So that should be fun to build, and hopefully nicely detailed. So let's flip that page over. Oh, more actuators. We have our bomb layouts and how these actually are placed inside the bomb bay. And then, of course, we go to the dorsal gun. This is, looks like it's pretty visible. We have our top turret, when that looks like it's going to be pretty open. So we have to go ahead and fix that up. Now, final assemblies. Now, I've heard these props here are actually too thin. I've heard that they should be a little thicker. But again, I don't know for sure. Just something I read on an internet forum somewhere. Moving over to the actual finishes, this is the version we want to do with the octopus. I think that's going to be really, really cool. That's going to be the one we're going to focus on. We also have our paint callouts down here for the actual paint job itself. And then we have another American version here. Um, kind of kind of nice to have options, you know. Then, of course, we have our third option here being in Canadian markings. Very cool. Last page, of course, we have our stencils. Nothing fancy there. Again, i got to check on some of these, make sure I'm using all the stencils I need to use. Now for the actual decals, let's take a closer look at these. You can see they're actually very nice decals. I don't know about this green on this octopus tentacle though. I don't know if this should be a little lighter green. Most of the pictures I've seen here of other people building this model, they have a different color green and that might be a little bit hard to match. And I've heard that these don't really conform to the curvature of the fuselage very easily. So that might be a bit of work. And again, I don't like the fact that the insignias are attached to the actual tentacles. I prefer them to have been separate but I think we can manage. I have some ideas. I think we should be able to be all right. And of course, we have the Canadian markings down here. Always good to have spares. Moving on, let's take a look at some of the clear parts. And this is actually the rear turret. You can see it is big. That's actually very big. So we're gonna have a lot of room in there that we're gonna be able to see a lot. I might have to detail up but just a little bit more than I was envisioning. Most of the clear parts though look very clean, very crisp. I don't notice any issue with the transparency. I might dip them in future just to be on the safe side though. We got our rear gun, we have our astrodome, we have our nose cone. Everything looking pretty decent here, so let's put those back in the box though, so I don't actually scuff them or hurt them in any way. Now here are the wings. The wings, top and bottom, and of course the gear bay doors and the engine nacelles. So they're recessed panel lines, which is always nice. We have some actual really nicely molded vents. It's a really cool looking interior here of this wheel well as well. You can see there's lots of detail. That will be fun to paint, I am sure. Other side, pretty much the same. As you can see, the detail is very nice in those wheel wells. I don't know if it's accurate, but it's nice, and I like the look of it. Of course, the inside of the gear bay doors are also molded and detailed, so that is really awesome. I like that. And no injector pin marks either, so I'm really happy about that. 
Moving on to the next sprue, we have the propeller blades. Now, I was again reading on an internet forum that said that these were too thin. They should have a broader cord. I don't know if that's true or not, but I'm going to look into it and figure it out. I will say that these engine details are super nice. Let me go ahead and zoom in for you here so you can check them out a little closer. This is some nice detail on these engines. It's very, very detailed for plastic. So I'm pleased about that. I might want to add some, maybe some wiring or something to it to kind of spruce it up. Depends on how much is visible behind those cowlings. But that's really nice. Well done, Ravel. Well done. We have the armament here. So we have our machine guns for the top turret, the twin 50 cows. They are very nicely molded. We have little air vents in theirs as well. And then, of course, we have the bottom of the turret. So that's going to be a pretty simple assembly, though I might want to detail that up just a little bit more. Bombs are pretty simple, pretty easy affair, nothing too crazy about that. And then, of course, we have our landing gears, our struts. Here's some more machine guns for the front nose area. And, of course, we have our dorsal guns right here. The wheels look really cool. They have some texture to the tires, which is always nice. But I'm probably going to absolutely obliterate that texture when I glue them in and I sand everything down to avoid the seam. That's going to be difficult to do. Of course, then we have our landing gears and we have a very nicely molded and brake cable. So that's awesome looking. I love it. That's going to be cool to paint. Now for the rear tail, again, nice and recessed panel lines. They look very, very subtle, nice and clean. The outer part of the twin tail is molded into the actual fins themselves, which is interesting. I'm not really used to that. So the last poly bag that we have here has a couple of different parts and pieces. We have the front nose. As you can see here, we have the little protrusions for the guns to stick out there on both sides. Then we have, looks like the bottom section for all the three machine guns. And then of course we have the turret ring as well. Very cool. Now moving on to the other sprue, we have of course a fuselage side, but we also have the bomb bay. Now I don't know if this is as accurately detailed, but it looks all right, at least from first glance. Now the seats here, these are actually very well detailed. Let me give you a close up here and you can see what I'm talking about. Also, I should point out the instrument panel is very nicely molded. Now we have the chairs here. The seat belts are very neat and tidy. I don't know if they would be that neat and tidy in real life. I would imagine they'd be kind of strewn all over the place, but these are actually not too bad. They look well molded. And I think if we paint them up correctly, they'll be passable. Of course, here's the close up of the bomb bays. You can see all the different cradles for the bombs. We do have some wiring in there. It's probably a lot more Spartan than it needs to be, but honestly, should be fine. The fuselage is beautiful. The recessed panel lines aren't trenches. They're nice and subtle. And I honestly think this is a really cool looking aircraft. Now, like I said, I've heard that this bulkhead is actually incorrect. Don't quote me on that. I need to go ahead and do a little more research, but we might have to fix that. Also the insides of the bomb bays, very nicely molded. Not really any sink marks or flash marks, a few injector pin markings, but none of them are in places you can see. So honestly, this is a great looking kit. But anyway, everybody, we're going to go ahead and call it quits for today. I just wanted to give you a quick unboxing. This Ventura and this Octopus decal especially look like it's going to be a lot of fun. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you back here next week where we're going to get some paint, some plastic out, and we're really going to do some work and get this thing going. So until next time, guys, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here next time on Ben Builds. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.